Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to another Skyrim mod spotlight. Today we've got a mod that changes a lot in the game, just basically the overall look of the game. And then we've got another mod later that sort of just adds new content to the game. So first up, we have this mod, insert mod name here because I can't think of it. And this mod changes the lighting of the game. Now, I don't think, I, I mean, I definitely did not realize how big of an effect the lighting had on the overall look of the game. Um, did somebody just yawn? I thought I was alone in here. Um, anyways, the lighting changes a lot in this game. It, it, it really changes the overall look of everything. Now, this mod that I have here, it can, it has a lot of different settings. So really the overall look of the game changes a lot based on what your preferences are. But a good way that I can describe it is it makes the lights lighter and the darks darker. And it also brings out a, a lot of colors. With our here in Windhelm. Suicide. Okay. Um, <laughs> that was weird. It brings uh, This mod allows for a lot of colors that are really saturated before to really come out. Um, and it also gets rid of a lot of um, unnatural like hues that are kind of like enveloping the entire game. Like sometimes when you're out in the wilderness, there's like this whole green effect that's going on. This mod kind of gets rid of that. It makes things just look more natural. Like for instance, the sky is a lot more blue. And um, I, I don't know that, you know, Windhelm usually is very gray and black. And now it feels like it has, you know, more of a, you know, like I said, a lot more natural of a look. So let's go uh, quick travel somewhere else. Okay, so here we are in Riverwood, and as you can see, it's 7, 17 p.m., and it's a lot brighter than it usually is. So this makes, um, you know, dawn and dusk uh, much brighter. It also, I think it removes some of the, like, really reddish color um, of, uh, you know, the sun. Uh, also, guys, horse armor. Horse armor right here. It's pretty cool. It looks, it kind of matches the ebony male armor. What's up? The world itself just seems much more colorful in my opinion. It's a lot less saturated. Of course, if you want more color, you can make that change using the mod. Or if you want less, you can change that as well. A lot of really neat things can be done with this mod. If you really want um, a comparison of what you can do, go ahead and check out the link in the description for this mod and you can see some screenshots that people have uh, uploaded and such. Okay, so right next to Riverwood, that's Riverwood over there, is our other mod, which is called, uh, insert mod name here, I forget. And it's a, it's a player home mod, which we're starting to see a lot more of these because before the creation kit came out, it was pretty difficult to add uh, new areas to the game. Before the creation kit came out, um, a lot of the mods were just replacing stuff rather than adding new things. But uh, now, that, now that it's out, a lot of new things are coming into the game. And so it's pretty exciting right now. So this is, this is a really awesome player home. First of all, it has all the smithing, alchemy stuff. You know, it's got a smelter, which is really helpful. And um, it's got an enchanting table. Really all the things that you need um, at a player home. That's it just makes it, it's just a lot more uh, useful than your typical player home. It's kind of in ruins a bit, like particularly over there. There's like the walls falling down. But uh, overall, it's a very nice place. It's got this alchemy garden right here that you can use uh, all the ingredients at. Um, it's automatically added uh, to your character upon starting the game. So um, there might be a quest to acquire it later on, or you may have to pay for it later on. But as it is right now, um, it is free. So this is the interior. And a reference back to the lighting mod, as you can kind of tell, it's much darker inside, which I like because it's much more realistic, because a lot of the light sources in this game are just candles, and candles do not make that much light, um, except like right next to them. So I like that, that they've kind of made this, did I just, I just knocked those over. Um, yeah, I like that because it's much more realistic. But anyway, so this is like a little dining area, this is the main entrance to the like living quarters and this is sort of the 
the central room with a nice big hearth in the middle, um, display case, some places to put your weapons. Um, up here we got like a little sort of bar area, which is pretty cool. And then over here we have a crap ton of display cases, plaques, and mannequins to put your weapons on. And what I really like about this room, and m actually all the rooms, is that it has named containers, so weapons, enchanted weapons, enchanted armor, armor, and just like random uh, chests everywhere. And I really like that because I like to categorize where I put my things. So this is, that's really helpful. That mannequin's not on his pedestal. Um, there's also a glitch with this mod where outside the textures and meshes of the walls do not load properly. Um, I'll show you guys some footage of that, but I don't know why that happens. But it, the texture, or the, the models usually load after you enter this building and then exit this building. So, um, that's, that's the one, um, downside of this, I'd say. So yeah, this is like a, a, whoops, this is like a bedroom area up here. We got more named, uh, containers. Alright, so we're gonna head outside, and we're gonna go take a look at the tower, which is, I think, directly across from this room, or that building. Uh, here it is. So this place scared the crap out of me when I first came in here because I saw all these shadows. And I'm like, what the heck? Um, I don't even... Some kind of chain, I think? Oh, that is causing it somehow. Um, so yeah. Uh, this is sort of like the mage area. I really like this part here because of, um... Uh, like this book here reminds me of Daggerfall and uh, I don't know it just looks really cool here especially with the lighting and you got this really cool um, blue flame and of course enchanting table wow that is awesome and then downstairs isn't really much whoa crap I just fell um, it's just sort of like a like cavernous area with water can't really do much. Is that does that go down? No. All right. So yeah, this is like the basement area. Not much to it. So the inside. Those are the two interiors uh, for this mod. And then uh, there's a lot of like areas that you can like up on the ramparts and stuff. You can come up here, and I don't know if you can kind of see it because this mod makes the night times darker. Uh, there's targets out there. You can target practice. But yeah, so this is a really cool mod. I really like this home. I might make it my permanent home. Okay, for um, just just one more example of the lighting mod. It looks pretty cool inside, but sometimes this happens. You can't see anything inside your house, hardly. And while that makes sense because, I mean, this is a pretty big room. And all we have is this, like, four candles here. You wouldn't expect them to light up the whole room, but... I can't even see Lydia, and she's right here. Honored to see you again, my fame. And she keeps sitting down, and then standing up, and then standing up, and then sitting down. For some reason. So yeah, those are the uh, two mods that I really wanted to show. Uh, but anyways, thank you guys for watching. This has been re what the heck? She was just doing the moonwalk. Okay. Yeah. Anyways, like this video if you like it, comment if you feel like it, and subscribe if you want to see more of these videos. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.